Hi everyone in Key Stage 2, this is your 19th challenge and this one is called the paper throw. So the paper throw you need a few things. You need something to time with or someone to help you time if, you're, uh, if you've got someone available. You need a, a pair of socks in more of a sausage shape rather than a ball. It's very important that when this lands it doesn't roll too far. You also need three pieces of scrap paper. Now it's important to use scrap paper for this so we don't waste any paper. On one piece of scrap paper, I've written 100 points. I'm going to put that there. On another piece of scrap paper, I've folded it in half and I've written 200 points. That's going to go next to it. And then on this piece of paper, I've folded it in half and then half again. So folded it into quarters and I've written 300 points. That's going to go next to the 200. You could also put it 100 is closest, 200 is further away, but 300 is further away than that. It's up to you. Now I'm going to take five steps over this way. I don't have five steps in this space that I've got, so I'm just going to use the space that I've got. If you've got a bigger space than me, then make sure it's five steps. And mark where you're going to throw from. So I'm just going to use the space that I've got available. And I'm going to time myself for one minute and I'm going to see how many points I score. Now you score the number of points if the socks land touching the paper. So if it's just touching like that, then that still counts. You might need to tape down your numbers so that they don't move around, but I'm just gonna go without taping them. Okay, so one minute, start now. Oh, he's missed it. You need to decide during this game whether you're gonna play a safe game and keep going for 100, or you're gonna play it slightly riskier and go for 200, or you're gonna play it even riskier and keep going for 300 points, yes. So I've got 300, or 200, or 100, 3, 4, 5, 600 so far. You also, you may have noticed, need to use quite a lot of maths in this game. So 600, oh that's touching 20, I'm lucky. So 800. Okay, so when a minute runs out, record your score. If you find it really tricky to add up, you could either get someone to help you, or you can do 10 throws and write down your score each time and then add it up at the end. So I look forward to hearing how you get on with this one. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you soon.